Hello guys, today we learn how to use our visual procedures with input parameters from OLEDB source to load the data in SSIS. For this you have required SQL Server Data Tools for Visual Studio 2015 or SQL Server Data Tools for our Visual Studio 2019. The steps need to follow add the data flow talks in designer mode and double click on it. When you double click, also need to add data source and destination and need to configure it, connection string and store procedure. And then the projects, you will get the data from input source to transfer into destinations. So for this, already you have a table like imply TBL, imply details imply id imply name imply location and sadly when we select stuff from table imply details we get the following data like imply id name imply location and sadly now based upon the writing the store procedures we transfer the data from these store procedures to another table let us see here our store procedure is like SVGT imply and uh, passing in two parameters imply name and imply location based on we get the records and imply details. So also you can see here some data flow design mode like data flow talks and OLED source and destination. Here in first OLED data source we need to configure with connection strings and also write the store procedures to execute and passing the parameters and for OLED destinations we need to configure it and table map to the create a table or uh, already tables then map it and after configuring board data source OLED these procedures and connection string table for data will transfer and an application data will transfer successfully. Now see with the real examples. Now go to Visual Studio. Now open file new projects. Here you can write project name store procedures with SSIS input parameters. Now click on OK. So you can see our projects will be created now. Now here is control flow. Go to SSI tools and click on data flow. Talk. So here data flow talks will be added. Now double click on data flow talks. Now need to add source table. Only do data source. Now also need to add destination. Only do destinations. Now click double click on the source. Click on new. Click on new. Put here server name based upon your systems. I put server name, it is my computer name, and put SQL server authentication. Here I have taken user ID and password which I have already set. Now stage this window and click on this to select the database. So I have selected database test samples and click on test connection. So we will got the test connection succeeded. Now click on OK. OK. Now OK. Now need to define the store procedure to execute. So first need to select SQL command. Now what is my store procedures name? That is SVGET EMP. Execute. And for parameters two need to put input parameters question mark and there is two parameters so need to put two question marks with comma now define two parameters parameter one 
go to input parameters imply name put here parameters now variable need to define new variables put here imply name for testing purpose we also define here value what will be value you can see first one is raj and click on ok second parameters need to check out what is imply locations copy this one go to imply locations define new variables put here variable name and also you can write here value click on preview so you can see here there is one row will be showing now click this close this one now click on ok buttons now map this one source to destinations now also need to configure the destination table so create new destination table you can put here test 6 and click on ok now click on mapping so mapping will be done now click on ok so our source and destination will be configured now click run the projects so our data will be transferred successfully now see whether data is transferred or not so select extra phone test for table image test 6 and execute this query so you can get the data on 0 right, daily and salary so that way we can transfer the data from test for to see using input parameters thanks for watching my youtube videos if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel